Okay, good morning, and welcome to an episode, anime review of Val X Love episode 9. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? 9 episodes? I can't believe it. Now, I get it. I get it. Val X Love ain't the most hype show of this season. I mean, hype shows consider returning shows and new shows like that basketball anime, which is better than Coconut Basket, that soft tennis show, I love that, and The Cautious Hero, which, by the way, The Cautious Hero is most talked about, and that Zootopia of reminiscence of Beef Stars, okay. But when we talk about Val X Love, I get it. Y'all dropped it because it's not as hyped. Given it five episodes, y'all dropped it. And I don't blame you. I do that too. I follow the five episode rule of Val X Love. But, I mean, I follow the five episode rule. Like, watch the first five episodes, see how I feel. I couldn't. But we're going to get to... But, you know, I'm like, let me just see more and more as the episode progresses. And I said before in one of my videos that, give it about episode 9, 10 or more, he's going to do some greatness. Oh, wake up. So, yeah. And so episode 9 just demonstrate how he's about to improve in some way. Now, we're going to ignore everything from the villain side. I'm going to push that aside. But still, talk about a mission that it's all have. The student council president, Valkyrie, big-breasted girl. Her mission is like protect from a groper. And each, and um, Natsuki, the main Valkyrie is the groper. So she just groping so hard in the train. Just the boobs. Just, just fondling the boobs. Because to her, she's jealous of her because of her boobs. So she's just fondling her boobs constantly. 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 And not and Akuma being... I mean, Takumi being the... um Trying to stop the Valkyrie from a groper. That was the main thing. But, you know, he needs... <laughs> I like how he was trying to protect her, but the cops just got him because of the way how he looks. That is so, I don't know how to put that in words, but you get the idea. But other than that, the mission was a success because it was a, because most of the time they both grabbed their boobs. So that's a good point. That's good starters right there. Now we're going to, now that wasn't the big issue. That wasn't the big thing. Big thing was big, big sis Ichika. Now, the first sister, the oldest of the nine, the red Valkyrie. And I call her red because she has that red black hair, but the red Valkyrie, the spear move. And, you know, this is why she joined, this is why she's living with them. It's because she spies on her, he been, she's been spying on him the entire time. Even when missions were, like, remember the, remember the festival, remember the camp festival, and the locker room scenes with all the Valkyries. Remember those scenes that he was with? She, she's been watching them the entire time. Meaning, meaning that she's been watching them doing it in that nurse room, in that nurse nurse's room. Meaning she will be meaning that she saw everything with her eyes shut, like hiding in the shadow, just watching. And now she's being part of the harem. Now she's being part of this friggin' this group. Okay. And then, I, and she has that nice personality, I get it. Like, on the one hand, she hates him. But on the other hand, with her sisters, you know, being a big sister really has some motive. So, yeah, I give her that. Now, the mission was to scrub. Now, he went down on him. And I don't blame him. Let me just say that. She went down on him, so, like, yelling at him and yelling at him. And I don't blame him. I mean, I don't blame her. I mean, I get it. I get it. You have to be. You have to yell at him because he needs to wake the fuck up about about how to do a harem. Harem one on one. Let me just say that the harem one on one. So they have to go take a bath with all the Valkyries. I mean, he had to take a bath with each guy. You know, rub this. You know, rub each other's backs. Okay, I get that. The part that got the part that Ichika said was, "You need to stop being." And I'm not putting in her words, but. From reading, from what, I mean, from telling Takuma, in my words, she's saying, stop being the person who studies and focus on the Valkyries who's supposed to love you. In other words, do the harem the right way. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't let 
Like in every harem, the girl fall in love with the guy. Do that. Not the other way around. You're supposed to make the Valkyries fall in love with you. You're supposed to show why the Valkyries chose you. Make them fall in love with you. And, and now here's what I'm... That's good and all, but here's my worst case scenario. That's a good plan, but I'm gonna... But I feel bad for that little Valkyrie girl. The one with the pigtails, the long pigtails with the dog. I don't want that to do... I just don't want that to happen to her. Because... When it comes to harems, this is what I meant. Any girl about this tall is considered little sisters of, to me, they're little sisters. And I get that. Like, look at Kusuno from Sekirei. I like Kusuno as a little sister, not as a waifu status. Look at Pappy from Monster Misune. I see Pappy as a wife. I mean, I see Pappy as a, as a little sister. Almost a waifu. I'm sorry. I see Pappy as a little sister, not a waifu. That's... That's my point. So I just hope there's nothing wrong with that pigtail girl. Now, now they all scrubbing each other's backs, and then all of a sudden Natsuki and Yukimo comes in. And like Yukimo with her sensitive hearing, Big Sis Ichiga got sensitive skin, so she could sense a demon from her skin. So when he, so when Taku was just scrubbing her back, the, the, the sensitivity of her skin went full frontal, like too much. Too much. It was hilarious to see all that fan service of her body, her skin, and all that. It was really great. And then Yukimo. Oh, God. You know, I'm not saying Yukimo's best waifu material. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not going to put that out there. You know, the Valkyrie with the headphones. I'm not saying she's best waifu. I mean, she can, get, she can make a, an edgy just like that. Like, literally, she can make an edgy just like that off the, the flag. Like, think about what happened last week with her and, the, and that and the idol Valkyrie. So if you take her in the bath scene with Natsuki and they touching each other while Itsuki is is uh uh Ichika is rubbing the back of her using her own boobs to rub the back, telling her she got that from Yukimo and then you, you know like I said, and overall Yukimo is the genius. She's genius. I'm not saying she's best waifu, but nah Nah. I mean, in terms of Best Valkyrie, she's like six. But still, she is funny to make anything into an etchy scene. And what we just got there was brilliancy. Not only that, not only that, I mean, she went in from touching the ear, from biting the ear, from touching the booth, from going her hand down there. She, Natsuki threw Yakumu um, and allowed uh, Takuma and Ichika kiss. They kissed. Yes, they kissed. Now, here's what I'm trying to say. Why didn't he just rank her up? Like, I get it, Natsuki is the main Valkyrie girl. I get it, she's the main character. But come on. You got to focus on the big sister, man. Here's my advice for the main character. Focus on the big sister because she's like level one. Folk, she's the strongest one. Even at level one, she is stronger. But come on. Make her to that level like in the 30s at least because she is brolic. But when she transformed, she passed out. Her MP's all gone because at a level one, she sucked. But still, make her stronger. Now, let's go to the villains. These villains are... I don't know what to say. I mean, these villains look so cheesy to me. I mean, I get it. We just first met them. We haven't seen nothing improved yet. But... Uh, uh, something about that blonde hair villain doesn't stand out. I mean, I know she's level 52 and all, but I don't know what her motives are. Like, I don't know how she fights or anything like that. But she's not one of those villains I can't take seriously yet until I see what her, her deal is, you know? I'm just saying. Uh, I mean, these villains are just so cheesy to me. I mean, uh, not much. But let's just see how this other villain is. Let's just see how that works out. But anyway, oh, and one more thing. Now that Ichika's living with him, what about the other Valkyrie girl that's living in the shed? I mean, yeah, we did see her face without the helmet. I, I mean, I, yeah, we did see her without the helmet. I get that. But when are we going to see her in action as well? When are we going to see her in the shed? Like, I really want to know where this is coming from. I want to know. And sure, with three episodes left down in the wire, let's just see how this turns out. And I'm surprised people are still watching it. Episode 5 was going to be the downfall, but then people came back up. So let's see how this works out. So anyway, this episode was great. Not great, but more like, okay, we finally getting somewhere. 
We're finally getting somewhere. And I'm glad Ichigo woke him, like, slap out of it and focus on the focus on the harem and not neglecting the not neglecting the Valkyries. Like just literally focus on the girls and not focus on studying. That's all I'm trying to say. So I look forward for next week's Val X Love and I hope you will.